Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for joining us, spending a few minutes of your time. Uh, all, all we do is ask is like, subscribe, maybe even share uh, this content so we can continue to bring you uh, nightly updates. Hopefully uh, everybody is getting a lot of value and continue uh, to tune in. So um, let's rewind really quickly. Rewind. I, I don't think this update needs to be um, long in the tooth. Uh, all we need to do is kind of cover the facts. Last Friday, a uh, hot jobs number came out. The market had an in incredibly aggressive uh, downward initial reaction reversed. We went higher. Uh, horrific news came out of the Middle East. What happened? It didn't even take a day to register to go numb. The market's reverse course engulfed that news. It took the market higher. Uh, Q's lose the 363 level that was so very, very hard pressed to uh, reclaim. They reclaimed it back, closed at the 50 day moving average. Yesterday, we got above the 50 day moving average. And today, that started out as an inside day. PPI numbers came out again. The market negated the data. And here we are building above the 50 day moving averages. And sometimes it's just simple as that. You don't need to overthink it. You don't need to uh, play devil's advocate. We know, and we've always been saying this for years and years and years. Over the 50 day is bullish, under the 50 day is bearish. That was that's why it was so important that the Qs reclaimed that 368 level a couple of days ago. And today we built upon it, had a very, very aggressive close, and the leaders continue to lead. And that's the most important part. Uh tomorrow is the CPI report. Uh if it wasn't, you know, if today wasn't one of those, uh if to, if tomorrow wasn't one of those slam dunk. Uh, slam dunk reports, which obviously nobody, you know, nobody knows what it is and nobody knows how the market's going to react. And just because the market has uh, negated bad news for the last three, four sessions doesn't mean it's going to negate uh, what the CPI is going to translate into tomorrow. So it's one of those to be determined. But if you look at the charts, right, just look at the charts from the leaders, you can see how strong the tape is, right? Look at Apple. Apple today, first close above the 50 day moving average. That's super bullish. We'd like it for tomorrow. NVIDIA, right? The video broke out a couple of days ago and follow through. We talked about initial move potential to 368, 369, da, 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 368, 369. Again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Amazon continues to build, right? This is the first close above the 20 day supply. Again, this thing has room now to the 50 day. If the more stocks, the more stocks, excuse me, the, the longer we stay above the 50 day moving average in the queues, the higher probability more members are going to get pulled up. Look at Amazon's chart. This is the highest close on this whole formation. If Amazon starts building above today's channels, this thing could spike as well. Uh, look at Meta. We talked about Meta last night on the video, potentially taking out the earnings highs. Guess what? It took out the earnings highs and this is the highest close da, 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 in this whole formation. So you get it, right? You get it. So that's kind of the point. So you don't need to be uh, super creative going into uh, tomorrow's session. Again, if it wasn't for the CPI, I would be really aggressively long overnight. But again, I'm not into the gambling. If I want to gamble, I go on DraftKings and I start building uh, dynasty. Excuse me, I start building uh, uh, daily lineups like I do on the weekends. Allegedly, love football, love DFS. Um, but anyway, the more important part is don't look at the stocks that are stretched out. Look at the stocks that are coming out of the mid ranges, and you see if you go through the Nasdaq 100 again. Nasdaq 100 for me is the bread and butter, right? It's the bread and butter. I usually trade about probably. 12 out of those 100 names on, on, a, on a daily basis, uh, they're what I, that's my sweet spot. And I usually don't, uh, I usually don't deviate unless something has really ridiculous uh, option flow or that matter. Uh, so going into tomorrow, again, those are the names I like, you know, I continue, uh, you know, I, anything, if the market gets a week open, you know, watch these strong names into support, okay? That they're not shorts. Like I was telling everybody today in the webinar, when the NASDAQ went red, I said, this is an inside day, right? This is an inside day. Shorts are going to get trapped. And if they get tra trapped, they're going to squeeze back. Damn right, they squeeze back. And then that's the whole point. Stocks that are oversupplied that come into rising support, like the Qs did today on the, on the rising Bollinger Band. Yeah, they're going to start spiking and trap shorts. And that's exactly what happened. So when you're above the 50-day moving average and you're getting a week open, take whatever stocks you're looking for for the day, right? Whatever stock is on your watch list for the day, 
And if that stock gets a light move, a light volume move into rising 60 minute support on your chart, that's where shorts are going to get trapped nine out of 10 times in a rising rabbit bull market. And again, that's kind of where we are. And negating bad news four days in a row, that's bullish. Building over the 50 day moving average is bullish. Confirming the previous day's highs at, on a day that the market could have easily rested, that is super duper bullish. So going into tomorrow, guys, again, we're looking for dips on strong names. Uh, even Tesla. Tesla today rested, held the five-day moving average today. They continued to pour in on the uh, 270s, 275 calls. NVIDIA has been an absolute rock star, really, really big rock star. Again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, guys, they were coming for next week's 380, 385, 390, 395 calls. So again, that's called speculation money. And if you don't believe speculation money is there, look at this stock. This thing just uh, only came across my desk because people were just talking about this. This stock right here, TPST, right? This thing was up 3,000%. 3, 3, yeah, that's called a good market. That's called speculation flow. And again, when you have good sentiment, it doesn't make a difference what you are trading, what your sweet spot is, as long as you're waiting for those upside channels to confirm, don't anticipate, you usually be uh, in the right way uh, of looking at things. So let's talk about today's pivots, right? And we'll kind of get this, uh, end this a little bit early. Again, how much more do you want to, you know, how much more, how many more adjectives you want to use to describe what's going on? It's a good market until it's not. Until we lose the 50-day moving average, every dip needs to get bought. So uh, Meta, right? Yesterday, Meta, Meta had a nice move today, 324.66. And 326 is the earnings highs they need to confirm. Here was Meta, right? Here's Meta uh, traded all the way up to uh, 29. Again, a bunch of a bunch of 330, 335 weeklies uh, were coming in. Nvidia had a great move yesterday, 56.05 and 58. Uh, today it got raised by Cowan. It needs to take out 463 pre-market highs. Yep, they did that. Uh, 463 pre-market highs. Put up an initial two dollar move. Uh, sat around a little bit. And then towards the end of the day, just exploded to 69. Just an incredible move there. Uh, Tesla Tesla gave us a quick move. A uh, quick move. There was a sneaky pivot, 266.70s. I thought there was a shot it could get to, to 59. It got to like 58.60s, but nice move. Guys, remember we were talking about Netflix last night? We were we were talking about uh, the, on the video last night. You know, you always want to be prepared on both sides. You remember we were talking about Netflix last night's video? All you got to do is go to last night's video. 372 if it builds below can flush. Look at this flush here on Netflix. Congratulations to all you guys who caught this thing. Look at this flush here on Netflix. Took out uh, took out the 72, traded right to uh, 365. If, if the number is bad tomorrow, guys, watch you know watch Netflix. If this thing starts losing the Bollinger Band, boy, oh, boy, you could get more downside moves there uh, as well. Uh, Arm didn't do anything. Uh, Cart never got there. Uh, ACMR. Remember we talked about ACMR yesterday, right? ACMR in the video. Uh, ACMR above uh, 20 bucks, right? 20 bucks almost went up about a dollar. Uh, before it reversed course. Uh, we had a couple of bounces today on Tesla. Perfect bounce. Uh, we were doing the we were doing the five-day uh, remount. Perfect bounce today. Uh, nice move uh, towards the afternoon. We're still waiting for the top of the channel uh, to confirm for the natural pivot. And that is it. So that's it. Business as usual, folks. Uh, great job today. Great job so far by the Bulls. Uh, let's see if we can keep this going, right? Let's see how long we can keep this going. Uh, you know, again, most important part, guys, do not sip the Kool-Aid. Don't sit there with rose-colored glasses that everything will be all right. Let things mature, right? Let things organically play themselves out because if you do anticipate, if you get too, you know, if you too get too excited and you get too comfortable, that's when the market kind of taps you on the shoulder and says, look, I'm the boss and you're not. Guys, God bless everybody. I'll see you all tomorrow. Just to remind the guys, uh, Thursday nights are my regular uh, evenings off. So there are no video. There is no video on Thursday nights. Uh, if you are planning to attend uh, the webinar, come aboard. Come aboard. I uh, tried out for 30 days. Pivots are pretty neat. Uh, very cool way of trading. And we are the only ones on the planet who are trading the PS60 theory the right way. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. I'll see you all tomorrow.